you've got skin problems hopefully not enough to force a trip to a dermatologist but enough to be a bother you're not alone layering up with expensive creams and lotions is standard practice most products do provide some relief in the short term at least the catch you seem to need to keep using the product to sustain the relief that is their habit forming but is this really what mother nature intended probably not now one of mother nature's weapons of protection is acidity we're all familiar with the strategy it's how the stomach protects us from nasties entering the body via the mouth the acidity nukes the little guys who arrive inside of our food and as an added bonus it kickstarts the process of digestion so what well the stomach is not the only part of the body using acid for protection in fact most of the body's portals that is the entry gates are acidic the skin is no exception healthy skin clocks in at a pH of 4.9 there are variations across the skin surface the most acidic part of you is typically your forehead and the least acidic spots can be found in between your fingers and toes and around your anus this acidic covering has been nicknamed the acid mantle and just like stomach acidity skin acidity is necessary as in the stomach the acidity provides protection but in the case of the skin it's less about nuking nasty critters who arrive by the air or surfaces we come into contact with and more about discouraging them from taking up residence you see skin nasties are typically alkaline loving now this is particularly important for us humans as naked apes we don't have the extra protection of a thick woolly layer of hair shielding us from wandering critters so human skin ends up being a little more acidic than other animal skin well at least it should be join us for this episode of better body chemistry tv as we find out why the ph of your skin is important and how your skin care routines could be hurting your skin health not helping better body chemistry tv is brought to you by dr sandy a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins heifer lumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry remember small things can make a big difference to your health the very outer layer of the skin is known as the stratum corneum with its low ph this is what does the heavy lifting you see the stratum corneum is a wall of rather flat dead cells these are highly specialized cells known as corneocytes they grip one another tightly at corneodesmosomes to help them stay connected and keep the layer watertight there is a fatty layer of glue squished between the cells the glue is secreted by the cells directly underneath and to protect against sticky accidents it only becomes sticky when enzymes break down the lamella lipids now it turns out that these enzymes they're rather sensitive souls they're only active when the skin ph is low this poses a dilemma for the corneocytes because the glue holding that watertight layer in place is not alkaline proof glue if the skin ph rises even just a little the glue is not quite as effective but this isn't the end of the corneocytes woes they find another set of enzymes find the alkaline environment rather invigorating these are the calicrines they set about prying apart the corneodesmosomes 
this causes the corneocytes right on the outside to fall off into the abyss. The process is called desquamation, and it's perfectly natural to slough off these dead skin cells, but only when the timing is right. Unfortunately, an alkaline pH speeds up the process, leaving the skin barrier a tiny bit worse for wear, because it's thinner. Being thinner, it's more vulnerable to attack from bugs and chemicals and the weather, so happy, healthy skin should be a little acidic. But it might not be. Many of the products we expose our skin to are alkaline. That is, they raise the pH of the outer layer of the skin. Yes, it is a temporary effect, but it adds up. In the next video, we'll look at just how much. In the meantime, if you've got skin troubles, create better body chemistry by choosing your skincare products wisely. Here is the reference I have based this video on. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV.